Hello everyone, welcome back to a new class. Today in this class, we are going to solve some questions from mathematics class 9, exercise number 1.5, question number 3. This question says that, recall, pi is defined as the ratio of the circumference, say C, circumference is denoted by C, of a circle to its diameter and diameter is denoted by d that is pi is equal to c by d this seems to contradict the fact that pi is irrational number then question is how will you resolve this contradiction that means we all know that pi is irrational number but if we express pi like c divided by d, c divided by d, it is of the form p by q, p by q as rational, like rational number, where, where p and q are integers. <coughs> so if we write pi like c by d, then it may be rational number. So they are contradiction to the fact that pi is irrational. Then how we can solve this contradiction? You remember the definition of rational number. Here numbers a numbers of the form p by q. Where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. But here in case of C and D, C rational or irrational, it is not mentioned. Similarly, D rational or irrational, it is also not mentioned. So, in this case, we consider C as irrational, D as irrational or both irrational. So, we can write, so in this case, either C or D or both are Irrational. Suppose C is rational and D is irrational, then then pi will be rational divided by irrational. So result will be irrational. So if C is rational, irrational, and D is rational, then also pi is equal to irrational by rational, so it is also irrational, result will be irrational. And if both are irrational, then pi equal to irrational by irrational, result will be irrational. Our next question is question number 5. Here question says that to rationalize the denominators of the flowing. That is here some irrational numbers are given. We have to rationalize the denominators of each numbers. So Roman number 1 here. 1 by root over 7. Since denominator is root over 7. Therefore it is irrational. We have to rationalize the denominator here. So in this case. We will multiply both numerator and denominator by root of R7. Then we get in numerator 1 into root of R7. So it will be root of R7. And in denominator root of R7 into root of R7. That means root of R7 is multiplied two times. So we can write root of R7 is square. Root of R7 is square. There implies in numerator we have root over 7 and denominator square and root will be cancelled then we have 7. So now in denominator we have 7 and therefore 7 is rational and hence we can say that the denominator is rationalized. Next Roman number 2 here number is 1 by root over 7 minus root over 6. 
in this case we multiplied both numerator and denominator by root over 7 plus root over 6 when this sign is minus at that time we have multiplied same numbers with sign plus and if this sign is plus then we multiply same numbers but sign will be changed here equal 1 by root over 7 minus root over 6 whole into root over 7 plus root over 6. Since minus is here, so we have to multiply it same number but sign will be changed. In numerator 1 whole into root over 7 plus root over 6. They are equal. In numerator 1 multiplied with root over 7 root of plus root over 6. So result will be root over 7 plus root over 6. But in denominator you see a minus b whole into a plus b. It is in the form. A minus b whole into a plus b. So is a square minus b square. They are equal root over 7 plus root over 6 divided by square and root are cancelled then we have here 7 minus square and root are cancelled then we have here 6 so they are equal root over 7 plus root over 6 divided by 7 minus 6 is 1 so in denominator now we have 1 so 1 is rational so we have rationalized the denominator here next number is 1 by root over 5 plus root over 2. So, in this case, we have multiplied both numerator and denominator by root over 5 minus root over 2. Root over 5 minus root over 2. Here, root over 5 plus root over 2 is given. We multiplied this one by root over 5 minus root over 2. They are equal in numerator we will get root over 5 minus root over 2 but in denominator you see root over 5 plus root over 2 whole into root over 5 minus root over 2 so it is in the form a plus b whole into a minus b and formula is a square minus b square a means root over 5 square minus b means root over 2 square they are equal root over 5 minus root over 2 divided by this square and root will be cancelled then we have here 5 minus square and root will be cancelled then we have 2 they are equal root over 5 minus root over 2 divided by 5 minus 2 it will be 3 so now in denominator we have 3 and 3 is rational number so therefore we can say that the denominator is rationalized 